Well, here we are, Andrew fans, with another Cool Loser Tech video. Today's segment is going to be in the best apps of the week off the market, brought to you by me, the Cool Loser. You see that? Off, on. I'm sure you guys how to take away your lock screen, because a lot of people are off and then on, and you have to swipe. And now I'm going to present a new feature I'm going to bring to all my videos where I'm going to do the best live wallpapers for every segment. Solar wind live wallpaper. Keep in mind every live wallpaper can slow down your phone and use up more battery than usual. So live wallpapers can only be put on 2.1 Android versions and up. So you can see here there's settings and you can change the style. There's going to be different styles here. There's classic undertow. Cosmic, Space, Jiggly, and Customize. You can change it all and look at, at the different designs. So I'm going to keep it on that. And I'm going to do Set as Wallpaper. Now that is my wallpaper right now. Pretty neat, right? Alright, let's get to the mini apps I'm going to show you guys today. So my Ultimate Phase Pro doesn't pick up Volume Widget. Not sure why. This is an application to replace your rocker. I've heard a lot of you guys saying that your volume rocker has not been working. I don't know if you guys have incredible Hulk hands or something breaking your rocker. But anyways, volume rocker, I'll show you where it is. And you can see here, this is the volume rocker. I've resized it so it's a different size. Here you will see I can turn up and down my volume on my phone. And now I can turn up my media. Another cool thing, you can tap on the music icon. And you can choose what you want it to open. Let's say I want it to be my system one. There is my system now. So now I can turn down from my system. Same with this side. You can change. Let's go to voice. I can turn down the voice or up. You don't want to go into your system settings. You can change it all from here. And you don't have to just use these. You can set more. Go to widgets. Volume widget. And just set another one. One by one. That's fine. And now you have just a ring of one. And you remember you can change it. Say notification. Screen off and lock. This application is a new way to turn your phone off. Allows you to turn off your device without hitting your power button. And it also gives you a choice of effect of how to turn it off. You can set sounds for on and off buttons. So I can just press this and it will turn off my phone. You hear that? I just turned it off and I turned it back on. So there. You can set your widgets. And I have the widget already right there. So let's say I don't want to hit my button, my finger is right here, and I'm lazy to go all the way up, and I just want to turn it off real quickly. It just turned off right there. That's the sound I chose for it. If you want to change the settings towards it, there's going to be two. There's going to be configuring, and you will see screen off and lock is right there. That's the app to push it, and it'll turn your phone off. So you can be anywhere as long as you press that button, it'll turn it off. But if you want to configure it, you want to come here, configuring. Enable shortcut in notifications area. Delay device locking. That's if you want to do an animation. Those of you guys who want an animation, like I have when it turns off this way, you can. You can see there, you have system default, fade out, zoom out, rotate clockwise, rotate counterclockwise, swipe, swipe, old TV style. That's the one that I have where it turns off like a TV. Many of you guys asked me how I did it. I have a custom ROM called CyanogenMod, Mod, and mine came already stock with that ROM. But if you want to make it do it on a stock ROM, instead of being rooted or having a custom ROM, you can do it using this application. Now, I can't really test it because I already have it as already stock, so I'm not sure if it's doing it or not, because mine's already like that, so I can't test it if it's really working or not. But it does say that some of the phones won't work so, I don't know. Hopefully, it works for you guys. And you can change your sounds and locks from here. To delete, you got to read it here. Remove uh, device administrators and stuff. And just read it all from here. No lock. This is how I don't have a lock screen in the background. As you can see, I turn my phone right off and turn it back on. No lock. If you're one of those people who don't like sliding your phone to open it up after pushing power, let's use no lock. This is an application you want to have. Now, if I want to unlock my phone, I should have a sliding bar, right? Yes. But no. With this no lock, I don't have to have that. Now, let me click into it. And you see there, locking disabled. I'm going to lock it. Locking enabled. So now, let's turn my phone off and turn it back on. So now, it's back. Now, I have to unlock my phone. You can put a widget. As you can see there, it's unlocked. Let's see. 
There we go. And you can hit the button right there. It says lock and enabled. And there you go. You're back locked. Button save here. This application is for rooted people only. If your buttons down here might not be working or you hate bringing down your thumb down here, this is a cool application. Now, there's a little icon right there. You won't see it right now yet. Now, see here it says enable screen lock. You can activate a screen lock button as well through this application. Now, you can do vibrating, feedback, auto hide, themes, and choose how long of the clicker would be. So you can do little options there, so I'm not going to go too much into it. But you can go to it because it's really self-explanatory. And now I'm going to go to my Gmail. And now I'm just going to click on this one and show you a little background. And it shows a little icon right there. Now the icon, I can click on it. And now I have those same soft keys on my screen. So I could go to a different screen right there and look at call settings, camera, search, and there's other things there. Now I can go to menu and it brings up my menu just as I press that. If I want to press home, I can go to home. If I want to turn my screen off, there's my screen off. And you can arrange this guy to be this side, up higher, up lower, wherever you want it to have it, where it's convenient for you. And I can go back on the page. And then you see there, it just went back. And now let's press power off. So just turned it off. And another application that is for rooted people only is called SD Increase. I haven't really noticed too much of it. Maybe it doesn't work for my phone exactly or not. I'm not sure. But it's supposed to make your phone faster through loading stuff on your SD card. It says click the button to increase the read write of the SD card. Root access is needed because I'm going to change a parameter in the system file. So if you notice, if you have a lot of applications on your SD card, Sometimes it takes a little long to start up or open up your album, um, your pictures, because there's a lot of stuff on there. Well, this is supposed to make it faster. And we're going to press this fiery looking arrow down. And it should have done it from there. Yep, you can. And you can see that. Let me just boost it a little bit more. And now I've boosted it up. So it should be open it up a lot quicker. AIX Weather Widget. This application also doesn't show on my Ultimate Face Pro. But this is a good way to show you guys since you guys will go into the market anyhow. And this is what it's going to look like. What this is, is this. I can't really see it because of my background. I'm going to have to change it. Okay, just change my background. And here is the AIX weather widget. Here's the degrees from 5 p.m. to all the way to 11 a.m. The weather condition for every hour of the day. As you can see there in the blue, the blue is uh, the coldest and the chance of rain. The red is where it's not going to be any rain. And you can change all this. It's customizable. Just click on it. You can see measurement, units, color, and transparency. You can change the colors of what you want to look in the background. Your numbers on there. I like it how it is stock, so I didn't mess with anything. It's a really cool widget, and I'm going to probably be keeping it for a while because I like the, to know what time of day the weather is going to be like. Craigslist notification. This application before used to not rock but now it's a lot better I'm really really happy with it I like how it actually notifies you when you get new postings for whatever you were looking and searching for and you can see there I see a brat and every new posting for a Subaru brat comes out I get notified you can see there new post for your brat and it's really cool I like, I like it I like this is a much needed application to go through stuff in the menus to search you gotta click on a new search. So type in whatever you want. Another best thing about this is that when you search on Craigslist, you know it only shows within your city region. But you can choose more regions with this application. What if you want to see? Uh, I'm in Oregon. What if I want to see Washington, California, and Idaho? If I want to see those states too, I can actually have regions to choose from the, those states, and I can look at more majority of searches not just within my state and it'll all show me in the list of all the searches I've been looking for it'll save your searches so remember it'll, it'll notify you you can choose if you want to see pictures on the sides there's a little button right here that you can pick and it'll show you all the pictures up here you don't have to go inside of of the link to look at the pictures so you can see it from here and it's just really great guys I I recommend this for the people who are critical heads like me and especially since I'm looking for a car right now uh, it's a good app to have. Titan Message Scheduler. You have something to say and you forget what you wanted to do. And this way you'll never forget. Let's say someone wanted you to text them at this certain amount of time. You know, you, they want to rely on you. Well, you can rely on something else as well If you, in case you forget or you won't be able to get to it. Here we're going to schedule 
I sent myself a message just to see if it was going to send and it worked pretty good. If you want to do a new message, you're going to click here and type in your recipient and saying who, which one is the person you want to send it to and write your message from here. Type it in whatever you want and once you're done typing in whatever you're going to say, choose your time. Time of the day, 1.33 p.m. or 1.34, I'll just do 1.34. Let's put set. What day of the month? You can set it. If you want to be from Saturday, maybe you don't you don't remember right now, but it's gonna send it automatically on Saturday at this time. Once, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, what do you want? You can choose what you want it to be reminded as. Stop watching timer. Simple. How many of you guys want a timer on your phone that looks real good? If you see here, let's do a reset. This is one of those applications I'm gonna keep for a while because I like to sometimes time myself on things. I like to see how long things take, or how about you're into sports and you want to do laps, or you just want to just, you know, have a time. Whatever it is, it's a cool application, and you can change little settings here. There's colors, and you can change the colors of your numbers. Side rocker, you can hit this button, and it just started it. So the counter started, and you can pause by hitting it again. Just paused it. Continue by pressing it again. Now, how about I'm doing a lap or I want to see, I just did something and I want to stop it. Well, not stop it. You want to mark the lap. Now, let's say another person is coming through or you, whatever you just did, you just did it right now. So, now you're marked another lap. A lot of the mark. It doesn't have to be laps. It's a marker saying this is how long it took to do that. So, there's other little timers here. And you can set a countdown. Countdown to say, I want to go home in 10 minutes set countdown so you can see the countdown there let's just start so now in 10 minutes I gotta go home yep fast sharer how many of you guys have a lot of applications you guys found for me and your friends are like oh where'd you get that application how about the people who are new to Android and they're like oh what kind of apps did you get today or did you get anything cool this is gonna be a good application sharer these are all my applications I have on my phone so I got a grip load and if I want to share it to 10 of my friends I can instead of you telling them for the right app if you select it you will get a pop-up and it says there copy URL show QR code decode encode handset note it messaging or Bluetooth send it screen filter a lot of you guys at nighttime you see that I just got super super dark have really sensitive eyes and you want to dim down your phone even more than what you're stuck it's always going to be in your notification bar so you can bring that down and you can tap it right back there and it goes right back to normal so you can choose your adjusted filter brightness I have it always at 38.4 perfect for me at nighttime because it's not going to be so bright in my eyes if that's unchecked that means these down right here will not light up at nighttime so it'll be all dark and you won't see them down there. If you enable it, that means that it will show as long as you're dimmed down screen. But I have it off like that. So I don't edit it. That's what it is. Enable screen. And you can see it just got super dark. Interrupt trial. How many of you guys listen to your headphones while you're working or driving or riding bikes? I don't know how you guys do it. But the point is that if you're wearing headphones, you know that it's really hard to hear people since you're hearing music and it's really loud. What this does, it, it turns on your microphone. My microphone is on right now. And if I have my headphones on, let me see if you can hear it. Hey, 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 yo. There's an echo and whatever. And if you have your headphones plugged in, you can hear us talking through your headphones. So you can be listening to your music and hearing the environment as well. And these are the best apps of the week, guys. You're looking at my carousel. It's called Ultimate Phase Pro. My background is called WP Clock. And it is not a widget. It is a live wallpaper. Thank you for joining. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And always spread the word. Tune in for Thursday for the best games of the week. See ya.